Hello everybody, my name is Tuba Splat and welcome to a different video and I am going to be giving my thoughts and impressions on the Fallout 76 uh, trailer that dropped earlier today. Well, as of this recording, it was yesterday or I don't know, whenever this video goes up. Um, I've, this will be the third time I've seen this trailer. Um, I'm... I have some thoughts about it, but I just want to, like, go through the trailer again just to see if there's anything else for a third time I might have missed, but I don't really think there was much of anything, and give, again, my my thoughts on it, so here we go. And as you can tell, I'm home. I'm not my natural lighting, my regular lighting, so. glad I did uh, look at it now for a third time because I think there was something it was when they showed the vault dweller like I'm trying to think from the vault boy for the vault 111 costume I have I'm trying to think like if this is even like a different vault suit because like there's just that one cord that comes down the back. I mean, I don't think it really should matter. I don't know why, like, I just thought about it. I don't think it should matter as much because uh, it's still, like, the same universe, but I would think maybe during, like, a different time period they would make different ones. But, I mean, this Vault 76 takes place, um, as they showed in the with the pit boy the calendar said 2102 and takes place 25 years after the bombs fell so it's obviously a different um pit boy but then also like well i'm thinking that's some sort of con no i don't why would it be a continuity error but it's like why would they have different pit boys for Fallout 4, 76, but then I don't recall if 3 and New Vegas have the same one or not. Are they have the same pit boy I can't recall. But, um, yeah, I, I'm a little disappointed, I guess, that it is very, um, it is very, like, graphically, it's very Fallout 4, as I kind of saw it here when they go pan over the vault. It is very, very, very much uh, Vault or Fallout 4, um, which one of my friends was, like, kind of disappointed that it, it, it's, it looks the same as uh, Fallout 4, and... Um, I'm like, it's just the graphics engine. Um, I mean, like, they use the same engine for New Vegas and 3, so why would they change the graphics engine again just for 
76 from Ford. Um, let's see. I think there was something else. Oh. I noticed this, like, in the few times. Um, that they have Nuka World. I mean, obviously Nuka World has to have some sort of play in the universe now as of Fallout 4, but, like, I don't know, it just seems like it's not a... I wouldn't think that Nuke World is a very prominent place unless the whole country knew about it. I just realized, I don't know what this is. This magazine right here. Something Life. I don't know, I can't... I don't know, Something Life. It's like a, It looks like it's a new magazine. Is it Root Life? I don't know, I can't read it. You must read the oh, Scout Life! That's what that says, Scout Life. I don't, I'm not familiar with that. I mean, I granted Fallout 4 is my first exposure into this universe, but I feel like I've, um, I've learned a lot about this universe. Um, I can't begin to read. That's another Scout Life. So Scout Life. I don't recall if that's another magazine in any other Fallout games. This looks like astoundingly awesome tales, but I don't think so. Oops. So there's two Scout Life. I don't know. I can't read that. There's two Scout Life magazines here. That's the Mothership Zeta. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe this is a new magazine. I don't know. I think like a sound of the awesome tales is a carryover from like all the games, maybe. And the Wasteland Survival Guide. Um. I was surprised to see Jangles the Moon Monkey when I saw this first time. So a backpack. Anyway. So we got the backpack, a fedora, baseball, slippers, blast radius, mini nuke. What is that? That is terrifying. What is that? <laughs> when the fighting is stopped. This is another thing I noticed, and I, it kind of bugs me a little bit. Why does this look like... Like the TV. They can use real people, like they did in Fallout 4, but like... Why does it look like they're using stuff from like, Fallout 1 and 2? For this TV screen, like I don't understand that. Fallout 2 is settled. You must rebuild. I belong. West Virginia. Get that buttercup. Hmm. I don't know. But anyway, now for my thoughts. Um I don't know, this seems like it is a Bethesda game. Like it's not made by like Obsidian. Um I don't know. I'm happy that there's another Fallout game, but at the same time, why? Um, there's like a few sources, IGN and Ko Kotaku or whatever they're called. Um, they're saying that this is going to be an MMO, or this is going to be an online RPG. It's like... Okay. But if it is, why wouldn't they just call it Fallout Online? Or something to that effect. Like they did for Elder Scrolls Online. It's not like they called it uh, Elder Scrolls. I don't know. Elder Scrolls 6 or 7. I don't know. But they just called it. But even though that's not Bethesda developed, that's published by Bethesda. Or not even. I think it's just like Bethesda writes, but it's like. People are saying that this is going to be online. It's like, I hope not. 
I mean, yeah, if you look at the scheme of it, 70, Vault 76 was just like a control vault while the rest were experiments. Um, well, there were a few controls to compare to the experiments. Um, and this vault had like 500 people in it. But then after, I forget how long after the bombs fell, like five years or 25 years, something like that, they were supposed to, they are going to open the vault door for the dwellers to go outside. But I don't know. But then I feel like there's not a lot. I mean, obviously this is just a teaser, but I feel like there's not a whole lot to this yet to really say that this can be an online game or not. Um, obviously we'll find out at E3. Um on June 10th for the Bethesda conference otherwise but uh yeah so that's just my thoughts I mean yeah I feel like this is just why I mean I'm glad it's not a fallout game but it's like there's two main pro there's two big projects that are taking place before Elder Scrolls 6 and this is one of them I mean, again, don't get me wrong, I love Fallout, but like, again, why? Why does this have to be a thing when there could be other things that are priorities, but I don't know. It is what it is. Um, I think that's pretty much it, all I gotta say. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like and just subscribe to stay in tune with more content. And uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll get you guys next time.